Hello everyone, this is Mrs Ray. I'm Head of Careers in Grosvenor. I'm going to explain how we're going to run the process to help Year 10 pupils choose their GCSE subjects for September 2023. You received the options booklet by email, which provides more detail about the individual subjects and the process. This booklet is also available on Google Classroom for the pupils. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about choosing subjects, the curriculum on offer and the key dates. These choices are important because GCSEs will require commitment from pupils. So it's important that they choose subjects they enjoy and will be happy to work for. GCSEs are the first formal qualifications for your son or daughter, which will be required for application forms throughout their lives. So they should choose the subjects they will do best in. GCSE results will also affect which A-levels they can study or any other options they may be considering after year 12. It's therefore important that pupils choose subjects they think they might be interested in studying beyond GCSE and keep their options open for future decisions. We recommend that pupils make their choices based on ability, enjoyment, motivation and skills areas. We discourage choosing subjects based on the teacher, what their friends are doing, whether they're viewed as a difficult or easy subject. We've spent a lot of time in careers classes thinking about the individual strengths and weaknesses of each pupil. Some subjects have specific entry requirements. These are given in the options booklet and need to be considered carefully. Pupils can choose to study seven and a half, eight and a half or nine and a half subjects at GCSE. Most pupils will study nine and a half, but that will not suit everyone. There will be one English class which will study only English language. The other classes will study both language and literature. English teachers will be able to explain more about how this works. This has no impact on the other subjects studied. Pupils can reduce the number of subjects by choosing independent study in place of a language. We may offer the opportunity for a small number of pupils to study 10 and a half GCSEs through an accelerated learning programme. Any pupils selected for this will be contacted later in the year. The curriculum consists of compulsory subjects, English, Maths and Short Course RS, and six options, one language, one science, and four other choices, which can include other languages and sciences. So to give a little bit more detail, compulsory subjects are Maths, English language, possibly English literature, and RS Short Course, which makes two and a half or three and a half GCSEs. Pupils choose a language, French, German or Spanish, or independent study. They choose one science, biology, chemistry or physics, or single award science, and then four other options which come from a list of 22 subjects. As well as the compulsory GCSEs, there will be timetabled classes in PE, Games, Enrichment, LLW and Careers in Year 12. In languages, pupils choose French, Spanish or German. If they're considering a career using languages, they're recommended to study two or three languages. In this case, they choose one language here and then other languages uh, chosen from the optional subjects. If they choose independent study, they reduce the number of GCSEs, but they can still pick a language in the optional subjects section. In science, they must choose one subject from biology, chemistry, physics or single award science. If pupils want a career using science, it's essential that they take two or three sciences at GCSE. They will need at least two science GCSEs to study any science at A-level. In this case, they choose one science here and the other sciences in the optional subjects. If they only intend to take one science GCSE, they need to choose single award science. If they choose single award science, they will not be able to study any science at A-level. Finally, pupils choose four subjects from the list that you can see on the screen. There's more detail about each of these subjects in the options booklet. Some subjects do have a minimum standard, so this needs to be checked carefully. We will endeavour to run all these courses and we will endeavour to accommodate pupils' choices, but we cannot guarantee to accommodate everybody's combination of subjects. Choices need to be entered in the options form in preference order, so please consider this carefully. So to recap, pupils just have to choose six subjects, one language, one science and four others. The dates for the process are on the screen. This week, pupils are receiving individual guidance interviews with a careers teacher to help with their decisions. 
All pupils should have completed an interview form before the interview, which acts as a basis for discussion. The final options form to request subjects will be submitted online via a link which will be sent to you by email. The deadline is Thursday the 23rd of February. If pupils miss this date, there's a risk there may not be a place in the class of their chosen subject. It's important that pupils speak to teachers and read the options booklet carefully. We've looked at some decision-making strategies in careers classes to help, and pupils have been using a variety of research tools. Details of these can be found in their careers booklets. We suggest they should focus on their strengths and think about their plans for the future. They may need to do some more research on these, and there are useful websites on the screen. If you need further information or need any support, pupils can contact their careers teacher or you can get in touch with me by phoning or emailing school.